if I had to use a word to describe the current state of the capital markets, the middle market, I, I would just say open, you know, open for business. There's tremendous liquidity in our market right now. It's a very fluid market and available to anyone who wanted to raise capital today. The greatest opportunities for raising capital today really go to those areas that have the greatest demand for capital. If you think about the sectors in our economy that are really utilizing capital, energy, healthcare, transportation, finance, and that's where I think for us there's a great opportunity. Middle market companies are dealing with the same issues that the larger companies in the marketplace have to deal with, except they don't have the same resources. So a small company that has to deal with the implications of Obamacare has to be very careful in terms of what they do vis-a-vis -vis their employees, the number of employees, the hours and such. And it's an overriding issue for companies that don't have large human resources departments to basically handle. It's also a cost for them, which is a very expensive issue for them. So there is really a negative pressure on these companies. Rules and regulations, we hear a lot from our companies, are driving them a little bit crazy because they don't know what the final regulations are in their industries. A lot of people have been asking the question about when M&A activity will pick up in both the middle market and the broad market. And the reality is that there's still a gap between the buyers and sellers, especially focused in the middle market. I think it's going to be somewhere between 12 and 24 months before that gap is eliminated. The reason is that the buyers in the past have always been the ones to blink first. I think what will happen is eventually they'll start bidding up and that'll close the gap. But it's going to take a while. We provide Unitron loans. To the extent that a sponsor wants a Unitron solution, CIT can provide that capital to those issuers. It's another tool in that toolkit. Oftentimes people will suggest using a Unitron loan when in reality it's not the best solution for the company. And we can provide other alternatives that will compete with the product, but all within an umbrella of CIT. If interest rates continue to in the long term rise, we're going to see more requirements or more issuers doing high yield transactions in addition to senior deals than we've had in the last couple of years. I think a lot of borrowers are going to start looking to lenders to basically term out their balance sheets. I think most of it has to do with the general economy. It's so confusing right now for these managers to figure out what to do with their businesses. Should they invest in their businesses? Should they buy a competitor? Should they be selling? There's no real clear path right now, and I think that is the biggest frustration.